Before Shohei Otani came to the MLB, he was like a myth. Everyone was excited about the two-way player that could throw 100 miles per hour for nine innings and hit the ball consistently 450 feet. He was a walking legend, and when Shohei Otani came to the MLB, it changed the game. The game hadn't seen a two-way star since the late great Babe Ruth, and in his first few at-bats, his foul balls were selling on MLB for $3,000 a ball. He was a collector's dream. As for the player's side, he was doing okay, but he wasn't putting up the numbers that I know he thought he could put up. In addition, everyone was expecting more from him, and to add to that, he was getting hurt a lot, which kept him from playing to his full potential. But this year has changed everything. He is dropping bombs and hitting more consistently than previous years. So what is the difference between this year and previous years? That's what we talk about today. And today I'm going to share with you three keys on why he has been so successful as a hitter besides the obvious of staying healthy. So let's get started. So the first thing is that he is hitting more fly balls. Now, I don't want people coming at me saying, Jermaine, are you telling kids to hit more fly balls? Are you a launch angle type guy? Look. I'm just here telling you why he is more successful this year than previous years. For example, when we look at his stats, we see that in previous years, he hit a lot of ground balls, about 45% of the time. At the MLB level, the best you're going to do with that is hit a single. You might sneak a few doubles down the line, but ground balls are either outs or singles. So as you can see, his line drive rate is nearly the same. But when we look at his fly ball rate, we see that he is hitting the ball more in the air this year. This is why he is hitting more home runs than any other year at this given time of the year. So what's been the reason? Well, he has been hitting the ball more out front and staying up the middle. But the thing is, he hasn't changed his swing like what MLB Network says. To me, the key here is his back foot. Otani worked really hard in spring training to keep that back foot down because his left knee last year was not healthy and his foot would come off the ground. He didn't have that firm enough front side. This year he's trusting the backside, staying behind the baseball. That's where the power is coming through. He's getting that backside through the baseball. He worked really hard in spring training on staying on that back foot and getting through it. No. What he has done is push the ball more in front. And what I mean is his point of contact is more out front. For example, look at Shohei Atani's home runs from previous years. These are the black dots you are seeing on the screen. Well, we see that more of his home runs are to left center as opposed to right field and right center. However, this year, since he is hitting the ball more out front, his home runs are more to right center as opposed to left center. So your point of contact is very, very important when it comes to doing damage. But what you want to do is what Mike Trout says and stay up the middle. Yeah, just stay up the middle the whole time. You know, a couple of times I you know, hit, try to hit the ball left center just to stay uh, you know, square with the pitcher and you know, keep myself balanced. And sometimes I get too much you know, chicken wing or you know, trying to force it that way, opposed to just swinging and letting it go. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you start thinking pull, that's when you're going to get off balance and that is when you will start hitting ground balls and be inconsistent. So the next key is he has gotten closer to the plate. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Jermaine, how is this a key? But let me explain. Let's look at these two clips. In the first clip, it was back in 2018. Look how far he is away from the plate. This caused him to push the ball more to the opposite field. I remember having this issue. In this video, look how I dive into the ball and this cuts my ability to get extended and drive the baseball. It's the same issue that Shohei Atani was having. If you followed him the last few years, you would see it's almost like he is fighting his body to get extended. That's what has been hindering his swing from driving the baseball and being consistent. Now, let's look where he is now. Look how much closer he is on the plate. In the left clip, look how he is fighting his body to get extended. And look at the point of contact. It's deep. He almost looks beat. Look at his head. Look at how he finishes. Where is he looking at the ball? It appears that it's opposite field. Now look at the clip on the right. Notice how he hits it more out front. Pretty similar swings, but the point of contact is different. Look at his finish. Look how stable he looks and how high he finishes. Look at his head and where he is looking. See, since now he is closer to the play, he is naturally going to hit the ball out front. This is the same adjustment I made and started hitting more home runs and being more consistent. 
to Jermaine Curtis. Getting closer to the plate is not for everyone though, but it will help in driving the baseball. So the next key is probably the most important one. But before I do, smash that like button. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm to help players across the country and it's free. So hit it right now. And uh, especially if you're enjoying, enjoying this. And if you're new here, we do this uh, plus a ton of other baseball content. So join the family. Thank you for hitting the like button and subscribing. So the next key is less talked about, but it's probably the main reason he is having so much success. He is hitting in front of Mike Trout. When you hit in front of someone everyone is scared of, they are going to throw you more pitches to hit. In this case, more fastballs and more fastballs in the zone. If we look at his usual walk rate, he walks about 10% of the time in his at bat. However, this year he is now walking at 4% of the time. This means they are throwing pitches in the zone and he's swinging more. And the reason he is swinging more is because he's getting better pitches to hit. They don't want to walk him and have to pitch to Mike Trout. See, when you are hitting, your job is to eliminate pitches. And it makes it super easy to eliminate pitches when you hit in front of Mike Trout. They are only going to throw all speed pitches when they're trying to strike him out. They don't want to put him on first base because that's like putting him in scoring position with Mike Trout being behind him. So they're going to force him to get himself out. But I want to know your thoughts. Why do you think Shohei Atani is having a great start to this season? Comment below. And if you want me to break his swing down, comment below as well. Tell me, what do you want to see? And if you are looking to improve your game, I want to give you the hitter's log. It's what has helped me to be the player I am today. This playbook allows you to know your strengths and weaknesses as a player. That way you can play to your strengths, which will allow you to be more successful. See, at the MLB level, the players know who they are as a hitter. And if you're struggling, to be consistent or to hit for power you don't know what you do well as a hitter this book will teach you so click the link in the description to get this book for free just pay shipping again if you're interested link will be in the description below you gotta hurry up because i only have limited amount of copies so i highly recommend you get this book and use it to improve your performance on the field thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video